Have you ever heard the African proverb, it takes a village to raise a child? Or maybe you've used the phrase, we're in it together, or these are my people. What we're essentially saying here is that we belong together and community matters. My name is Bianca Copeland and I'm a South African researcher and designer at Amplinate. And we have been curious about how people build communities, what role technology plays in that, and more specifically, what makes community-based products successful? So we decided to travel to South Africa to find our answers. You might be wondering, why South Africa? South Africa is the only African country that legally supports LGBTQ rights. And as a result, LGBTQ people from other African countries come to South Africa to seek refuge. But despite this, LGBTQ plus South Africans and refugees still face discrimination. From this context, we wanted to hear their experiences of community. By conducting an exploratory study through cultural immersion, we were able not only to hear, but also see and experience the cultural nuances of what our participants shared, as well as connecting with them in a meaningful way. What we heard was that there is this tension between positive and negative online experiences that has a direct impact on the individual and community as a whole. Negative online experiences can lead to community breakdown. But on the other hand, positive online experiences can lead to community growth. So what facilitates positive online experiences? We heard the core needs of a community is safety, acceptance, and belonging. Let's come back to negative online experiences and how people respond to them. What was interesting is that we found that people respond to negative online experiences in two different ways. You might be thinking, why is this important? And how does this connect to the success of a community-based product? Download our case study to find out more about why this matters and how they are connected.